Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell you the truth about silver. Today is Wednesday the 20th of November 2019 and we are watching gold and silver prices rise slowly and stock markets fall slightly while the China-US trade deal seems moribund or even possibly in jeopardy. So let's investigate. <laughs> Before we cover the subject in hand, we wish to advise subscribers that on Monday we published a video entitled Fed Chair Warns of Rising National Debt. Now we mention in this short podcast video, as it's only six minutes long, that the US debt is currently over $23 trillion and the forecast is an additional $1 trillion, making $24 trillion in 2020. And that is without any further tax cuts or major public infrastructure spending. We also highlight Fed Chair Jerome Powell's comments relating to this and his concerns moving forward. So if you haven't had an opportunity to listen to this video podcast, please do so. It really is quite relevant. Anyway, back to today's topic. As we write this, it's 9.15 GMT. Gold is currently standing at $1,477. Up almost $20 since our report on Monday, and silver stands at $17.16, up $0.34 cents since our report on Monday. Not quite so high since the opening, but since our report. Now, all things being equal, and on the trajectory, both were heading downwards. However, the one bargaining chip in this whole situation, the trade deal between the United States and China, seems to have cast some doubt once again on its near-term success. Now, let's put our position clearly on the table. We believe a deal will be done with China before the next presidential election. However, whilst we thought that a limited deal may happen before Christmas, with more to come thereafter, President Trump's favourite option, to be frank, it looks as if China is playing hardball, which could not definitely, but could scupper this from happening. Let us explain. The US-China trade war effectively started on the 6th of July 2018, with the Trump administration applying tariffs on Chinese goods in order to redress the imbalance of trade between the two countries and demanding certain concessions, including copyright protections, amongst a number of other issues. A tit-for-tat response then ensued. And since then, ever-growing tariffs, threats of tariffs, embargoes and company injunctions have progressed. Now, last month, however, both China and the US agreed in principle on the creation of a phase one deal, which would have limited but an important impact on this trade war. It appeared that such a deal would be signed sometime in November. However, since the start of this month, China began mooting that it wanted existing tariffs to be rolled back within this phase one deal. Discussions between the Trump administration and China looked as if such an arrangement could be accommodated, at least on a limited basis. However, China's Commerce Ministry said this month that removing tariffs imposed during the trade war is an important condition to any deal. And U.S. administration officials are now asking whether that rolling back of existing tariffs, in addition to cancelling a scheduled December the 15th imposition of tariffs on some $156 billion of Chinese consumer goods, requires deeper, more, further recessions from China. Now, Derek Scissors, who consults with U.S. officials and is himself a scholar with the American Enterprise Institute in Washington, gave Reuters the following quote. The president wants the option of having a bigger deal with China, bigger than just the little deal, unquote. However, Beijing is balking at committing to a specific amount of farm product purchases, if we recall, President Trump demanded a very high figure, 
within a particular time frame and wants to let supply and demand dictate deals instead. It also wants Trump to eliminate the 15% tariffs on about $125 billion worth of Chinese goods imposed on September the 1st, as well as provide some relief from the 25% tariffs imposed on an earlier $250 billion list of industrial and consumer goods. Now this could prove to be too heavy a price to pay. And yesterday, President Trump said, quote, China is going to have to make a deal that I like. If they don't, that's it. Now, against this background, and to further complicate matters, the New York Times published a report on Saturday called the Xinjiang Papers Report, highlighting how the Chinese Communist Party dealt with the inhumane way of locking up the Uyghur Muslims in Xinjiang province in western China and following last week's death of an anti-China activist in Hong Kong. The Senate is looking to pass the presidential veto-proof Hong Kong Human Rights and Democracy Act. All of this, whilst having little to do with trade directly, will embarrass President Xi and quite possibly scupper this phase one deal, which is why traders and investors are beginning to worry once again which is why we saw the slight rise in gold and silver prices since Monday and the Dow and S&P falling yesterday. Now, we have to put this into perspective. All of these moves so far have been small and the deal may still happen. However, it is important for us to appreciate that the Chinese culture is one based on pride and face saving. And if embarrassed, China may indeed walk away and await the next presidential election. Now that does not mean that President Trump should give in. But investors and people like us, stackers and savers, should take note of what is happening. As the recent stock market rise and commensurate fall in gold and silver prices have, to a large extent, but not entirely, but to a large extent, has been based on a successful trade tariff deal between the US and China. What do you think? Will phase one happen this year or will a deal even be agreed before 2020 is out? Do share your thoughts and thank you for listening and if you haven't already done so please subscribe to our channel and press that bell sign so that you're notified of future videos as and when they are published. We hope you have found this video interesting and informative and if so please give it a thumbs up and share it on social media. Please ensure that you have subscribed to our channel and press the bell sign so that you are notified of any future videos. Also kindly visit our website at illuminatisilver.com and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe either as a free or paying member for regular email updates and offers. Disclaimer. Illuminati Silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore, this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its owners.